Right now, I'm in a self-drive Tesla. No steering wheel. No nothing. You don't got a steering wheel. It drives itself full autonomous. Fully autonomous vehicle. I'm gonna show y'all what this junk look like when I crash this shit in. You got a strap in, you know what I'm saying? Put your seatbelt on. Oh yeah, Rick on Rick. My guy. Rick on Rick. Bro, the car is so crazy. I'm gonna show y'all this junk when I hop out. Like a full detail, 360. Like, shout out Elon Musk. He did his big one with this junk. I ain't gonna lie. Got the robots. They walking around driving the Teslas. Park yourself, drive yourself. Like, you can fully oh, read the, the road. Lines. Actually, the safer lines, than a human. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's crazy. We just got here, look. It just it's pulling up. I'm about to show you what it look like right now. Hold on. We jumping out. These are all the people waiting to ride them. Look, you can't even open the doors. It's on the screen. <laughs> Not on the doors, but actually, but look. And they go out, yeah! Let me get it up. My guy, appreciate you, bro. Doors go up on that thing. Bet. Fire. I'm the first rapper riding this joint. I'm the, I'm the first rapper to ride in a new Tesla. Fully autonomous vehicle. Shout out Elon. I would have showed y'all the robots dancing. They were dancing over there. They put on a whole show, like a whole concert. You can have your own robot servant, basically. A robot butler. It's crazy. I'm getting probably like three of them. They can fold clothes and like pour drinks. I can get real creative. Mine, mine gonna do hella extra shit. Like my shit going over. Yeah, he gonna have that shit on too. Rick on Rick. Shout out Elon, man. Went crazy. We love. All right, Shalom. This is Gamal Yal in the Great Millstone, Atlanta. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, this quick lesson, and uh, it's going to be entitled "We Are Living in the Future." All right, and um, you know uh, what you what you just saw was a video of uh, the rapper named Sway Lee. All right. Uh, he's not a very, I'll say he's not an A-list rapper, um, but he's pretty well known. And, um, you know, this guy uh, was riding around in a uh, Tesla, a, a new Tesla. I guess it's unreleased, but uh, this Tesla has no steering wheel. All right. And it's fully autonomous. It's able to drive itself, you know, and... Um, you know, it reminds you of like, uh, like I'll say this, um, people's view of the future, uh, years ago is like what it is today. Like for instance, uh, when you watch, uh, shows like the Jetsons, now the Jetsons was a little far fetched cause they were living in space, <laughs> you know, but they did have, you know, a lot of, um, movies that old movies that were based in the future all right they have you know autonomous cars all right and they have may have flying cars or they may have you know uh an advanced highway system where it's like kind of like you know very uh fast transportation things of that nature and um so, yeah, we're living in the future, man, because here we are, you know, you're ha you're able to have a car that doesn't need a driver. All right. And um, also, I don't know if Elon Musk had some type of event recently because you had two chains. Uh, I would pull up the video, but I mean, I'm sure maybe brothers have seen it, but you could look it up. Two chains was talking to. A AI robot and uh, having a regular conversation with the robot. All right. But it looks to be the same event. It looks to be at the same. Maybe Elon is having some type of premiere 
of his new gadgets and devices, you know, to show it off cars and robots and things of that nature. But, you know, hey, man, this is like I said, we're living in the future, man, you know, and um, Esau is on top of the world. OK. Pursuing the Job 924, which I guess I'll get since I quoted it, but the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is Job 924. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, meaning. Well, what is Elon? Elon is a, is an Edomite. All right. Uh, and he is of. Um, he he's of Esau, our the the biblical patriarch Esau, all right, which is the twin of Jacob, the evil twin brother of Jacob, who is, you know, uh, wicked. Okay, who was who was set up to be the wicked seed? All right, and the enemy of. Jacob, which is Israel, all right, the biblical um, patriarch Jacob, of whom had 12 sons to make up the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, and um, so you had, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, so what what does that mean, the resources, the power? You know, the uh, the technology, because that's what we're going into in this in this lesson is Esau's technology. All right. All the earth is given into him and this technology, he's able to make this technology based off of uh, an accumulation of resources. All right. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yeah, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at, at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. Yeah, so this is talking about the so-called white man Esau, and he's a proud man. He's proud in his inventions. He's proud in his, uh, his military might. All right, he's proud. And his, uh, you know, um, how do I say, uh, arc, uh, intellectual abilities, things of that nature. He's just proud altogether. But it says, neither keepeth at home. Because where does the so-called white man get all the resources to make this technology? A lot of that comes from Africa. All right. Uh, it comes well. It comes on the backs of of Chinese slave labor. All right, but they go to Africa for a lot of the resources, such as lithium. You know, a lot of the technology that they make. All right, they rely on resources which stem from Africa, from the land of Africa. All right. So he doesn't he doesn't keep at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. So, yeah, he's this devil is as death. OK, he's he represents death because through we'll look at, uh, for example, a movie uh, like uh, I, Robot. OK, you have I, Robot, which is um, starring Will Smith, but it's based off of. Uh, future scenario where robots basically take over. You know, I, I believe the robots uh, gain consciousness and they basically take over. But that's also the dangers of AI because, you know, these robots are, are very, very, very advanced, almost to the point where they can gain consciousness. AI is on a level. 
I believe Esau probably has that capability now <laughs> to basically uh, uh, have these robots have uh, have their own, you know, have their own mind, so to speak. I mean, you know, they're programmed, but you can program AI to do damn near anything nowadays. So, you know, I, I mean, damn, like <laughs> the possibilities are really kind of endless as far as what you can do with these robots. If you can have a whole conversation with a so-called robot or just with a robot, then just imagine, you know, what what you what you, you know, hey, man, we're living in the future, man. It says who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. Yeah, so he can't be satisfied. He's got to keep. He's got to keep furthering his technical technological advances and discoveries. All right. He's got to keep furthering his his uh way of life. Okay. Because he's a devil. All right. He wants to establish a new world order system. All right. Which, what does that include? That includes the MOTB. That includes surveillance everywhere. That includes replacing working class citizens with, with AI. Okay. All right. And, uh, and he wants to depopulate because every, you know, no one, you know, the you people are no longer useful. All right. You're no longer useful. All right. It says, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Okay. So, yeah, he gathereth unto him all nations. All right. So, yeah, you know, um, AIDS. These he these other heathens are under are under Esau right now, because he's in control. So he gathers all these other nations under him. He heapeth unto him all people. He has dominion over the earth. All right. He's able to reach. Well, he's able to uh, take over whatever country he wants, really, honestly, through his military might. All right. Um, That was a point on that. But these are Satan's devices. All right. These are Satan's devices, which I'm not going to get that one. But because we always bring that out, but you have uh, uh, devices of Satan that he uses on the left-hand side. And this is honestly all right, uh, miracle, which I'm going to get um, Revelation 19. I'll start six, I'm going to do 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles. Let me see. I'm gonna start at uh I'm I'm gonna do nineteen and twenty. Which that kinda that pretty much goes into the same thing, but I like nineteen and twenty. Revelation nineteen and twenty, and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that have received the MOT the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire with brimstone with uh lake of fire burning burning with brimstone all right so it says and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him so what are these miracles oh here's another one uh this is the one i really wanted revelation 13 and 14 and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. That's what I wanted. 
Because, hey, Esau has those miracles, man. All right, he's able to do, hey, a self-driving car is a miracle. You know, people, uh, I'll say 40, even 30 years ago, 30 years ago in the 90s, a self-driving car would blow people's minds. You know, you'd be like, what? Like, you know, you, you'll you be like, yo, what? Like, people have self-driving cars. Like, that shit will really, like, blow your mind. You know? You'll really, you know, be like, yo, man, this is, like, this is crazy as hell to sit. Imagine taking someone from the 80s, 90s, and putting them in that car seat where that where the rapper Sway Lee is. That will blow their, that'll completely blow their mind. You got this big ass screen. The screen opens the doors. You know, the car is driving smooth. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't even hear the car. The car is silent. If you ever rode in an electric car, if you ever rode in a, in a, uh, in a electric car, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those cars are complete, completely silent. You know? You can't even, a lot of times you can't even tell that the car is on. <laughs> so, those cars, you know, hey man, you riding that thing, you don't see no pedal, no no steering wheel, it's going to fuck you up. You're going to be like, yo man, it's crazy, like, it's going to blow your mind. And this is somebody, you know, to witness it from the 90s. Let alone somebody, you know, from 50, 60 years back, things of that nature. So, like I said, we're living in the future. We're living in in Esau fulfilling his his deepest desires. Some of his deepest desires, all right, which is population control, man. Because if you watch that movie Upgrade. All right, uh, the those uh, autonomous cars are really dangerous, or they can be used for, um, you know, they can be used um, against people. All right, they can be taken advantage of. All right, for for control purposes, people can hijack a car and things of that nature, and you know, so it's dangerous. When you have a fully autonomous car. All right. I show you in that movie Upgrade, like I said. So, hey, we're living in the future, man. Esau wants to fulfill his enterprise. He's fulfilling his steps. You know, but ultimately the Most High is going to um, cast cast him down. You know, uh, this, when you read Job 20, it says when he's about to fill his belly. All right, but he's not going to be able to fill his belly, man. He's going to go down. He's not going to be able to fulfill all of his all his desires. But a lot of these things, you know, are he's a lot of these things are really miracles that he's able to do on the left hand side. All right, but ultimately his his final and biggest goal is not going to work. So, you know, I just wanted to uh, uh, ch um, speak on those things. Lord willing, brothers were edified, giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom.